Hello, my name is John Klingen. I'm the Glassfish Group Product Manager at Sun Microsystems. And with this screencast, I'd like to show you how easy it is to develop web applications using Java EE6. In particular, I'm going to be showing you how to utilize Servlet 3.0 technologies together with Enterprise Java Beans 3.1. And hopefully you'll see how productive you can be using these technologies. Now to do this, I'm going to be using the NetBeans IDE. Beginning with NetBeans 6.8, um, there'll be support for Java EE6. And today, you can go to netbeans.org and download uh, Milestone 1 of NetBeans 6.8. For this particular demonstration, I'll be using a nightly build. Now, I'd like to show you the run dialog in the project properties, just so you can see that we're going to be deploying to Glassfish v3, which is currently uh, in preview status. Um, but we'll, we'll be releasing that uh, later this year. Um, currently, the schedule is, is uh, near the end of November. Now, we're going to be developing actually a web application. And what this means is that this uh, application that we're developing can be deployed to the Java EE6 web profile, which is a subset of the full Java EE6 specification uh, in, that's meant to support web applications. Okay. So to demonstrate these technologies, I'll be showing you a very simple Hello World servlet. And that's about as simple as you can get. Right? So all this web uh, servlet is going to do is simply print out Hello World, to begin with anyway. So when you develop a web application, typically there's two files you have to deal with, you, well, or three actually. You have the source code, in this case, hello servlet.java. You need a web.xml that provides the metadata that describes to the web container uh, information about um, the actual servlet, such as the name of the servlet, the servlet class, um, the URL that you go to um, to actually load the servlet, and so on. Uh, the other thing is, or, or the third piece, is the actual web archive or the WAR file, right? That's the deployment unit. So what we're going to be doing here is using Servlet 3.0. And with Servlet 3.0, you have the option of using um, the web servlet annotation. And what this is going to do is, instead of providing this data in the web.xml file, we're going to be describing, or sorry, providing the metadata using the web servlet annotation. In this case, the URL that you'll go to, the URL pattern, is hello servlet. And you'll, you'll notice here we have a little dialog because this is an annotation, so I actually have to import uh, the annotation itself. Now you'll notice over here in the configuration files section that we have a manifest uh, file, but we don't have a web.xml file. Again, this is because all the information required for deployment is being uh, provided here in the uh, web servlet annotation. So I'm going to go ahead and save this and hit the run button to actually deploy it. So what we have here is hello world, right? That's kind of what we expected. So now I'm going to move back to uh, the actual uh, NetBeans environment and now we're going to create an enterprise Java Bean. And you'll notice here that I'm selecting a, just a plain Java class, right? Because with EG, EJB 3.1, uh, EJBs are essentially plain old Java objects or POJOs. So I'm going to call this hello bean. And we're going to provide uh, a simple method called say hello. So public is going to return a string. Uh, say hello. It's going to take a parameter, and that's going to be the name of an attendee, or sorry, just a name in general. String, string. Oops. Actually, I should probably say name. And now for the text, return. You had me at hello world and then the attendee name. Okay, So what we have now is just a simple Java class. But to, to turn this into an enterprise Java bean, what I'm going to do is add the at stateless annotation. And this now specifies that this is a stateless session bean. And you get all the advantages implied with enterprise Java beans. So um, what this means here is 
Uh, you get the security and transactional prop propagation. You get the pass by reference and so on. Now in this case, this is what we call a no interface view. So um, we don't have to have any kind of uh, local or remote interface. So what I'm going to do here is you'll notice we have a little error because I haven't imported the uh, annotation. There we go. Now I'm going to save it. Okay, and that's a bug I seem to run into here with the nightly build. And um, what we need to do now is actually invoke uh, the say hello method on this bean. Now, the first thing we have to do is get a reference to the bean. And there's two ways of doing this. We can either do it the, the traditional way by looking in, up the bean using JNDI. And I, I should note that with Java EE6, the naming conventions to locate, uh, you know, the, the, the global name of the of the bean is now standardized, so your um, enterprise Java bean should be um, more more portable than ever before among multiple implementations of Java EE. Okay, but the approach that I'm going to take here is we're going to use essentially a dependency injection where the bean will be injected into, um, in this case, the bean variable. And to do this, we're going to use the at ejb annotation. So when we launch this, um, an instance of, we'll have a reference to um, a stateless uh, instance of hello bean. Okay, and the other thing we're going to do is update the output to say not just hello world, but also to call or invoke the say hello method and pass in, you know, the name of somebody, in this case, John Doe. Okay. We have an error. In other words, uh, we have to import the EJB annotation. And now I'm going to save this bean. Now what's a nice, uh, a nice feature here of NetBeans and the GlassFish plugin um, for NetBeans, um, and Eclipse by the way, um, in concert with GlassFish v3 is we don't actually have to deploy the app anymore. When you actually save the uh, file, the application will automatically be redeployed um, to GlassFish. And this is an optional setting so you can toggle it on or, on or off. And, and right now it's turned on. Okay. So now all we're going to do is refresh the browser. And here you go. You had me at Hello World, John Doe. So, you know, hopefully this gives you an idea that developing with Java EE6 is a lot simpler than it's ever been. Uh, you can treat EJBs as plain old uh, Java objects, especially in the context of uh, you know uh, just a local only or, or no interface um, view. You've got the ability to um, provide annotations for your servlets um, through um, sorry, providing attributes of your servlet through the at web servlet annotation, and you don't you know in this case you don't even need a web.xml file. So I hope you found this demonstration uh, useful and I'll look into providing more in the future. Thank you very much.